Right, welcome. Welcome to all our members of the Crowdfunding Academy. This is uh, our weekly Crowdfunding Academy uh, Q&A session. Uh, Ali is not here with us today, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share some information with you today. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, what I'm going to go over, please add the questions below. We'll answer them next time when Ali, when Ali gets back. But today it's all about um, me going over some, uh, well, basically the different types of crowdfunding that you get out there. Um, there are five types of crowdfunding. I'll go over them very quickly. Uh, the idea is that while I go through them, that uh, you get an idea as to which type of crowdfunding best suits your particular campaign. So if we go back uh, to the first slide there, crowdfunding, and uh, you will see that uh, I've just asked there very briefly, what is crowdfunding? And uh, you will see that uh, crowdfunding is asking a crowd of people to donate or invest money in your particular project. So in other words, uh, it's all about lots of small amounts that make up a large amount. And that's what crowdfunding helps you to do. It enables you to actually raise a significant amount of money. So if we move on to the five types of crowdfunding there, uh, the very first type is donation-based crowdfunding. And I'll just briefly uh, describe each in turn. Donation-based crowdfunding is all about when someone will donate something to your, to your project or your campaign and not expect anything in return. Uh, Rewards-based crowdfunding is all about someone investing in a product or service and they're prepared to wait for you to go off and make um, the, the product or, or develop the service and uh, they will benefit it from it as at some point in the future. In other words, they're looking for something in return for their investment. Then there's equity crowdfunding. Equity crowdfunding is um, uh, all about... Um, well, it's very much like a dragon's den situation. In, in a dragon's den or shark tank situation, you're looking at uh, selling off a percentage share of your business. Instead of to one or two dragons, you're selling it off to hundreds of people who come in with small amounts, and uh, that's where you get your money from. Then there's debt-based crowdfunding. It's very much like a bank. Instead of going to a bank for a loan, you go to a crowdfunding website for a loan. I'll give you one or two examples there a little later. And then the last one there is uh, crowdfunding on the blockchain sometimes referred to as ICO, Initial Coin Offering, or IEO, which stands for Initial Exchange Offering. So let's get into the first slide there. Uh, Donation-based crowdfunding, the, the most, well, it's not the most popular, but a very well-known uh, website out there is Just Giving. I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with uh, Just Giving, and you'll see that uh, uh, this is their home page. It's been going for quite a long time while now they've raised absolute millions for all sorts of uh, donation-based courses. Here's an example of Stephen, who uh, was an 18-year-old with incurable cancer. He put up a page on Just Giving. He then went out and told his story. And as you can see here, he raised uh, well over 4 million. In fact, it ended up being over five with, with, uh, with gift aid added to it as well. Uh, uh, the world's most well-known donation-based crowdfunding platform is GoFundMe, based out of the States, but they have projects from all over the world. And it's all about you putting uh, up a, a concept or an idea that you want funded for yourself. So go and have a look at the various categories that they've got on offer there. Here are some of the, um, the um, examples. This was a screenshot I took uh, this morning of some of the popular uh, projects that are out there raising money. Then you move on to rewards-based crowdfunding. Rewards-based crowdfunding, as I said, uh, is all about a product or service. The most well-known website out there is uh, Kickstarter. Kickstarter is the world's largest rewards-based uh, crowdfunding platform. It is um, based out of the United States. And uh, you will see, well, they have anywhere up to 5,000 projects that are live on any one day on Kickstarter. And uh, the idea is, uh, if you feel that Kickstarter is good for you, uh, check out one of these categories. Uh, there's uh, many categories on this camp on this website. There's comics and illustration, design and tech, film, etc. The idea is to go to the one closest to where you think your category fits in and go and see what other people are doing. Nothing will replace uh, uh, the ideas that you'll get from the research that you do on these particular platforms. And Kickstarter is a good place to go and have a look at uh, projects that are live. As I said, any, anywhere up to 5,000 projects that are live on any one day. And uh, the idea is that uh, you go and check it out and 
going back a few of them, going back a few of the uh, particular projects uh, out there. Uh, this is a project um, that uh, initially failed to raise its target on Kickstarter. The coolest cooler then went on to raise 13 million. It is a fascinating case study. We'll have probably have a look at it at some uh, later point in the future. Uh, do a little bit of a dissection as to what went wrong, what went right, and uh, you can learn a lot from looking at that particular campaign. The world's second largest uh, rewards-based crowdfunding campaign is Indiegogo, also based out of the States. They predominantly are more focused in on uh, tech projects, uh, gadgets and, and the like. And uh, here is a campaign that uh, successfully raised 12 million plus. In fact, they went uh, crowdfunding for a second round. A fascinating example of, uh, of, of how you can extract uh, honey from a beehive uh, with the turn of a, um, a, a lever and uh, extremely successful campaign. Once again, an excellent case study that we'll probably have a look at later on. So go and check out Indiegogo, similar to uh, Kickstarter in many ways. They do have features uh, that Kickstarter don't have. Uh, so do, do your homework on each uh, website. Crowdfunder is the UK's largest uh, crowdfunding website, rewards based that is, it's based out of Newquay in Cornwall. And uh, you can go raising money as an individual or as a group if you've got an idea, or if you want to raise over 50,000, they'll uh, help you with additional resources there as well. Here are some examples of some of those um, projects. Um, if you can uh, get an idea from having a look at uh, some of their live projects as to what's working on their particular platform. Right, so those are the some of the rewards. There are many, many more rewards-based uh, platforms than that, but uh, at least uh, those are the top three that I think that you should get going with. When it comes to equity crowdfunding, that's uh, selling shares in your business. Uh, the um, most well-known one in the UK is Crowdcube. Um, they have recently rebranded their image and uh, there you can see that they have helped well over 800 businesses raise well over 600 million and they also have a, over 700,000 people on the platform ready and willing and interested to, to, to look at possibly backing some of the campaigns that go on Crowdcube. This is an example of a, a company that's into recycling in uh, Swindon. You can see that they raised uh, over 3.6 million. And uh, go and have a look at uh, how these campaigns work by registering as an investor on Crowdcube so that you can gain access to uh, more information that is uh, publicly available uh, on their website. Go also go and have a look at their case studies. The one case study there in the middle, Sugru. A fascinating example of... Uh, of, of uh, how they went crowdfunding and they went crowdfunding more than once and uh, go and have a look at how they did it. The competitor to Crowdcube is Cedars, they're based out of London and uh, they have uh, helped raise similar amounts of money for a similar number of businesses. You can see down there at the bottom left, they've, uh, that's a screenshot I took today, they've helped raise over £657 million for 871 businesses. And here's some examples of some of the businesses that uh, have raised money. Perkbox, some of you may be familiar with, raised 4.3 million from 370 investors, and it took them seven days to fund. Here's another one here, Chapel Down, which is uh, uh, a wine estate and uh, a beer. They also make beer as well. They raised 3.9 million from 1,400 odd investors, taking six days to raise those funds. Now, there are other equity crowdfunding platforms out there, and uh, but those two are two good examples for you to get to, to grips with. Go, as I say, register on those platforms and to become an investor. Uh, the reason I ask you to do that is that not only will you learn a lot, but you'll understand uh, what it's like to uh, uh, be the investor journey. Because if people are gonna invest in your particular project, um, you need to know uh, what uh, they have to go through uh, in order to back you so that you can help them on their way. Right, when it comes to debt-based crowdfunding, uh, it's often referred to as peer-to-peer -peer lending. So in other words, instead of going to a bank for a loan, you can go to one of these websites. The most well-known one in the UK for personal loans is called Zopa, and they've helped uh, 
lend out billions to individuals wanting money. So this, as I say, is for individuals, not for businesses, for individuals. The crowdfunding website that's most well known for businesses is Funding Circle. And Funding Circle is uh, um, a great example. They, as you can see in this particular slide here, they have helped raise over 5.4 billion for 52,000 businesses. 52,000 businesses have borrowed 5.4 billion from this website. Uh, they, all these businesses have to pay the money back over time at a particular interest rate. But uh, and, and before you can qualify to go onto this particular platform, you need to be in business for at least two years. Right, so um, now let's move on to the fifth type of crowdfunding, the initial coin offering, or the, as, as they now being called initial exchange offerings. It's all about raising money on the blockchain. I won't go into what the blockchain is, but uh, it's all about uh, the underlying technology, the blockchain, and on top of the blockchain, uh, or an expression of the blockchain is uh, cryptocurrency is the most well-known one there is Bitcoin. So, and the many others, there's about 2000 other cryptocurrencies out there. But as a business, uh, depending on where you're located and uh, how much money you've got to invest, you can actually raise a fair amount of money on the blockchain. You don't have to be a large business. In this case, uh, the Jamaica Bobsleigh Federation. Uh, uh, how can I say? They, um, they, they grabbed the imagination of the Dogecoin cryptocurrency community. And uh, together they had a, a whip around online and uh, they raised over $40,000 to help the Jamaican Bobsleigh Federation go off to the 2014 Sochi Olympics. Obviously, the other bigger companies that raise money online here as well. You've got Telegram. They raised well over a billion last year. And uh, however, um, it's it's it requires a lot of serious effort and serious investment to get uh, to to start raising money on on the blockchain. It's a it's another world altogether, and um, for serious investors only. Now to wrap this up, um, I've got a niche-based crowdfunding platform. Um, uh, idea or option here. Uh, I just want to refer you to one. There are many other niche uh, platforms out there that uh, focus in on a particular uh, concept or idea. I'm just going to share one with you today. Some of you may have heard of it. It's called Patreon. And Patreon is a subscription-based crowdfunding campaign. So in other words, people will fund small amounts of money on an ongoing basis. And uh, uh, what you do is you create a membership website. You start a membership website and you'd start to develop a relationship with your fans. And the nice thing about it is that, uh, particularly if you're a creator, like a podcaster or a musician or a writer or whatever the case might be, you can set up a page on Patreon and people support you on an ongoing monthly basis. And in return, you provide your own creative, um, uh, well, you, 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 you get, well, you create something for your uh, members and you can have different membership levels as well. The nice thing about it is that you know how much money, roughly how much money is going to come in on a monthly basis. So it's not just a one-off crowdfunding campaign where you raise just one amount here on Patreon. It's a case of raising um, money every single month as well. Anyway, so basically those are the five types of uh, crowdfunding. If you have any questions about any of them, please pop them into the Facebook uh, questions below and uh, we'll answer them next time. So next Wednesday at 12.30, uh, we will, um, Ali will be back and we will take up your questions and answer them. So please, as I say, drop, drop the questions below and uh, I'll either answer them during the week or Ali and I'll answer them live next week on Wednesday. Uh, fantastic to see uh, some of you here today and, um, and uh, enjoy the rest of the day.